Kentucky. The name evokes images of rolling bluegrass hills and a gentle landscape. It is a land of undeniable natural beauty, famed for its fertile soils and lush vegetation. Beyond the iconic pastures, Kentucky is also a land of spirited traditions. It is the heartland of thoroughbred horses and renowned for its distinctive bourbon whiskey. These cultural hallmarks contribute to Kentucky's unique identity. But the scales of time we are about to explore are far grander. The natural wonders of Kentucky extend both above and below the ground. Majestic forests cloak the mountains and valleys, offering sanctuary to a rich diversity of wildlife. Yet beneath the surface lies another realm, a subterranean world of intricate cave systems. Beneath the familiar soil lies a story of hundreds of millions of years, a world preserved with astonishing fidelity. Imagine peeling back the layers of Kentucky's landscape, delving deeper than the deepest caves. This is the reality of Kentucky's ancient fossil forest, a breathtaking discovery. It is a place where the concept of ancient takes on a new meaning. Here, we are not just looking at individual fossils, but at an entire ecosystem, frozen in time. The unearthing of this prehistoric treasure often occurred in the most unassuming of places, linked to the state's coal mining heritage. As miners delved deep, they occasionally stumbled upon something remarkable ghostly outlines of trees, still standing upright. These were the actual remnants of a forest, preserved in its growth position. Scientists have dated these fossil forests to approximately 300 million years old. This places them within the Carboniferous period, an era long before the dinosaurs. The significance of this discovery cannot be overstated. It is one of the largest and best preserved fossil forests in the world. Let us journey back in time, 300 million years, to the land we now call Kentucky. Instead of rolling hills, Imagine a vast, sprawling swamp. This was the Illinois Basin, a low-lying area near the ancient equator, covered by a colossal wetland ecosystem. The climate was tropical hot, humid and wet throughout the year. The dominant plants were giant lycopods, also known as scale trees, and enormous calamites. Lush ferns, some as large as small trees, carpeted the undergrowth. There were no flowers. This was a world of greens and browns. Oxygen levels were significantly higher, allowing insects to grow to enormous sizes. These swampy conditions were ideal for rapid plant growth. As these giant plants lived and died, they fell into the stagnant waters of the swamp. This accumulated plant debris would eventually transform into the rich coal seams known today. The magnificent Carboniferous Swamp Forest was not destined to last forever. Its remarkable preservation is owed to a sudden and catastrophic event. Evidence suggests a powerful earthquake struck the region. The ground likely dropped several meters in an instant. This sudden shift allowed water to rush in, possibly from a tsunami. The rapid influx of water carried vast amounts of sediment. This slurry of material buried the forest floor quickly and deeply. This rapid burial prevented the normal processes of decay. The fine-grained sediments created an anoxic environment. Over millions of years, minerals replaced the original plant tissues. This process turned the forest to stone. The trees are found standing upright, their roots still anchored in the ancient soil. Scientists can study the forest structure and relationships offering a unique window into a Carboniferous ecosystem. Stepping into the reconstructed world of Kentucky's Carboniferous forest is like entering an alien landscape. The lycopod trees, such as Lepidodendron and Sigillaria, were colossal. Their bark was distinctive, covered in diamond-shaped leaf scars. Alongside them, the calamites formed dense thickets. The animal life of the Carboniferous period was equally remarkable. High oxygen levels allowed insects to attain sizes unheard of today. Imagine dragonflies with wingspans of up to two and a half feet. Giant millipede-like creatures could grow over six feet long. The completeness of the fossil record offers more than just individual specimens. 
scientists can study the ecological relationships and reconstruct the ecosystem. The fossilized remains of Kentucky's ancient forest are invaluable archives of Earth's past climate. By studying these plants, scientists can glean crucial information about the Carboniferous period. The trees hold secrets within their fossilized structures. Researchers employ various methods to unlock these climatic secrets. Isotopic analysis can reveal information about atmospheric CO2 concentrations and temperatures. The types of plants present serve as indicators of prevailing climate zones. The Carboniferous period was a time of significant climatic shifts. This rampant plant growth drew enormous amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The Kentucky Fossil Forest captures a moment within this dynamic climatic chapter. Understanding these ancient climate dynamics is vital for testing climate models and comprehending current climate change. The discovery of Kentucky's fossil forest stands as a reminder of Earth's immense antiquity and capacity for change. It connects us to a world so alien it might seem like another planet. This direct window into the Carboniferous period offers a unique perspective on life and environmental evolution. The vast quantities of plant matter from those ancient swamps were transformed into the coal we use today. This act releases the carbon sequestered 300 million years ago, driving contemporary climate change. The lessons embedded within these ancient rocks are strikingly relevant to today's challenges. By studying these ecosystems, we gain insights into the resilience and vulnerability of natural systems. This knowledge can help inform our strategies for mitigating current climate change. The fossil forest of Kentucky speaks of the interconnectedness of life and Earth's systems. The whispers from this distant past urge us to become better stewards of our planet.